Okay, welcome everybody to Coffee and Art in the Morning. I'm Dee Dee. It's, oh wait, where is it? Where is he? Where's Phil? It's hump day, people. It's hump day. <laughs> oh, that makes me smile every time I see it, Connie. Okay, so, got a couple things. So, Melody sent me something. Well, she sent me two somethings. One's just got cleared from custom, so should be here maybe tomorrow. So we'll show that next stream. But the other thing she got me, wait for it. I got two things to show you. One thing is from Melody, which I'm going to show now. And then I'll do a separate video on something Tracy sent me. So we're going to have two little shows today. And, uh, hey, Squaw Moon Tracy, I was just saying, we're going to do two shows today. The first one's going to be on, I didn't know if you were going to be here till later, Tracy. So I, I scheduled you for the second half. <laughs> so um, I'll show, I'm not going to show what Tracy said yet. Y'all going to have to wait. <laughs> Aren't I terrible? Okay, so I colored this. Um, this is out of the Rhapsody in the Forest, and um, I showed the book a couple weeks ago, and um, I colored this last night, and I think I'll just click in one. Let's see here. There we go. I colored this last night with Can everybody see that? I don't know. I can't get any closer because I don't have autofocus on. So, yes, yes, I am now the proud owner of a set of polychromos. <laughs> I was going to buy them for Christmas. My, Well, I was going to make Hubster buy them for me for Christmas. And, uh, <laughs> and uh, Melody got them for me. So Melody got them for me. She said, you can't wait till Christmas to get those. I said, yeah, I can wait. So, but she bought them for me. And Hubster said, are those better than the ones I got you from the publisher's clearinghouse ad? <laughs> he knew, he knew better. He was just, he was just funning with Melody. But, uh, <laughs> Well, I'm going to talk about them because I colored a page last night. I colored a page last night to um, to to see how they played out. And I'm going to do a little bit of final shading on the, it's not a hoodie, it's a cape. Thank you, Terry. <laughs> I was going to say, she's wearing his little hoodie. And Terry Trouble, that's why she's a mod, said, that's not a hoodie, it's a cape. <laughs> So I'm going to finish shading the cape here. But I did finish. I'll show you the pencils in a minute. So I did, um, I colored in the little cat, the little trick-or-treating cat, and all different kinds of gourds and pumpkins. And so the only thing I have left to do is shade, shade the cape. <laughs> Okay, so I'm going to do that in a minute. So that's got, I still have the purple out. So I, I figured y'all would want to see them. Now I have used some. All right, so my first initial thing is they come in a tin, not a box, which is nice. But they'll probably end up in a pencil case anyway. But, you know, i got to sh show them to you as, as they come. So it's a set of 120. And um, let's see which way does it go here, this way. <clears throat> open up the box like this. It has the little brochure, you know, like uh, all nice pencil sets do. Okay, and then they have these little elastics uh, pick them ups so you can pick up the trays. This is where the purple goes right there. So, now, the, one of the things that I noticed first off in using them, and the trays have like a velour bottom to them, so they don't scrape the next one. This is, I got this one, up, I put this one away upside down, sorry. Um, so, the, the little velour bottoms don't scrape the next set. There's Eileen. <laughs> Wait, I'm talking about them, Eileen. I'm revealing them. Oh, my gosh, that girl. Somebody, Janet, sit your BFF down with you, please. <laughs> I am revealing them, Eileen. 
<laughs> oh my gosh. So anyway, I don't have to sharpen them as much as like, and I'm just going to compare them only to what I'm used to using all the time, my, um, my Prisma colors, okay? Prisma colors are very soft, and so you have to sharpen them more often to keep a point, okay? You don't have to sharpen these as much because they're a harder pencil. And that's good and bad, but I'll tell you about that when I show you what I'm coloring, when, when I show you the page I'm coloring. So, first off, let me just show you the color range. And some of them are probably out of order because I have, you see, look, I used that one. You'll be able to tell the ones I've used. Okay, then here's the second tray. Whoops. Whoops, I moved, somehow I moved, I slid them off. I slid them all over. Let's put them back over here so I can get the green. There we go. Okay, so let me turn it around here. Here's the second tray. Can't control her. <laughs> That's right, Janet. She's always telling you what to do. She's always she's so bossy, isn't she? <laughs> Eileen is so bossy. <laughs> hey, Colleen. Karen B. Um, yeah, well, yeah, I, I don't have any of mine in... I don't think I have anything in a tin except my Neos. I keep my Neo color crayons in the tin because um, for two reasons. One, because they they can break. You know, they can actually snap, you know, the Neo color crayons. And the other thing, too, is I don't want the Neo color crayons can transfer the crayon to crayon if they are, they're rubbing up against each other. So they stay in the tray. But other than that, all my pencils are either bundled or in cases. So here's the second tray. Just give y'all a little looky see here. Okay. And then here's the third tray in here. Give y'all a little color wave. Look at all the pretty grays. I think that's why Janet got hers. She likes all those grays. And then it's got a silver, gold, and copper too. So, yeah, so we're just going to take a moment. Shh, shh, Mine don't have much of a scent. Terry said hers smell good. <laughs> you interrupted the ASMR. Shh. <laughs> okay, so I have the purple one out. <clears throat> so, yeah. So, thank you so much, Melody. I'm excited. I used them last night. So, I spent, uh, oh, probably a couple hours. A couple hours doing this. And, um, so here's what I found out. A few of them are harder than others. I don't know why. I don't know why the color formulation makes some of them a little more harder than others. Um, I noticed the cream color, the creamy color that I used on, like, on the base of the cat and on the base of a couple of the uh, gourds. The cream color was harder, say, than the orange. The, the bright, true orange was a lot, lot softer. So I don't know why that is. I'm sure it has something to do with how much pigment they put in them. Okay. So I did notice in different colors, some are harder and, and some are softer. Not, not that it really matters. I mean, they're all harder than Prismacolor, okay? Uh, the purple here, like I'm using this purple, um, this was uh, blue-violet. It, you know, purple, bluey purple. I mm -hmm. used it on, the, the pur this purple's very, very soft. I mean, well, it's not as soft as Prismacolor, but it's soft. So I could just get in there and color some, but like the cream color was harder. I don't know if y'all noticed that. Y'all tell me your opinions, that y'all that have them, uh, Eileen and Janet, other than, uh, well, Janet swatched them. So, Janet, did you notice 
that you, when you swatched yours, did you notice that? I'm going to ask Janet because she swatched them. I don't know if uh, Eileen has swatched hers. Have you swatched yours, Eileen? Suzanne did notice. She noticed some are harder also. So I'm just kind of waiting. Y'all put it in caps and remember there's, uh, there's a lag so I have to wait. You notice it, but it, yeah, it doesn't bother me either. Uh, now, I'll tell you when it did bother me, okay? It did bother me a little bit in the layering process. Um, so, they layer really well. This is just my opinion, and this is all I've done with them, guys. Other than I have a few sample ones that I've played with here and there. This is the most I've colored with the polychromos. So, take that with a grain of salt. I'm not used to using them. So, let me clarify that. I'm not used to using them yet. I'm very used to my Prismas that are very, very soft and creamy. You know, and I'm constantly sharpening them to keep a point. Uh, so, everybody's saying that they are, Aaron said they're harder or softer doesn't bother. Yeah, it doesn't, it's not bothering me. But here's the, here's where it, one time it did. Okay, so I, w I tried to do like, a, uh, I used four colors on the cat. I only wrote three of them down, but I used one more darker one. Um, I used Naples Yellow, Terracotta, Rotel Sanguin, and a darker brown. And those are the colors that I used on the cat. On the pumpkins, I used like three shades of green, an orange, a yellow orange, and I'm not telling you the exact names here, and the, and the creamy color, which is to me the hardest one of all. So what I noticed is the creamy color one went down just fine on the base, okay? So I did a base coat, let's just say here on this pumpkin. And then I put the darker orangey color on top. And then I, I added some little, um, some little ticks of brown to make, the, to make the pumpkin look real, right? And then I go back over the top of it with the creamy color to blend it was a little tough and I don't know if that's just that color so here's the thing I found for me so far and again this is all I've really done they are a harder pencil they layer excellent they'll layer and layer and layer no they won't layer forever okay you got to use a soft touch because layering once the pigments built up you only can layer so much um, but the blending, I'm going to have to work on how to blend with them. Prisma colors are so easy to blend that, and it's a little tougher to blend. They layer fine, you know, except like I said, that cream color. It was hard to get it to blend. So, and it's just probably just me on the blending thing, not used to them yet, because they are a harder pencil. And they say that they are. So you gotta, you know, they are um, oil, they're oil based. And Prismas are wax based. So Cass says she likes the Pablos. They're hard but creamy, okay? So there, that's all. That's all the review I've give can give you right now. You can see. Look how I I was able to get this effect here with three colors of the green, all those striations and all that. You can put. I can go on top of any of this and and layer up to a point. And now that's up to the point on anything, right? The other thing that I noticed is I'm going to have to be careful. Um, because I'm not used to the hardness of it, it you have to be more careful that you don't dent the paper. It's easier to dent dent through your paper because you know they're harder pencil. So you have to be more and it, it doesn't matter on a one-sided page, but this is a double-sided. So I can feel a couple areas where I got a little too much pressure. Okay, hey Jen. I got a little too much pressure and it dented. So you do have to be careful with that, okay? But it was very easy. One of the here's one of the benefits. 
on the tiny areas because you your point stays sharper longer the point stays pointier longer um, and they're a harder pencil details it, it's better for details than the Prisma so if you want to get in tinier detail areas these are better for that now you can still do it with the Prisma but you're going to be sharpening a lot more to keep that point you know so if you want to get tiny little details and 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 real sharp points and edges these are awesome for that so that's one of the good the benefits of the harder pencil okay is you can get right up next to lines you don't go over the line um, as e near as easily as you would the softer pencils because the softer pencils to get right up next to a line you got to be careful you got to keep it real sharp or you're going to go out of the lines on the and that doesn't matter so much like you know when you're doing something like this but when you're doing something like this you want to stay in those lines right and then I sh just shaded that uh, secondary uh, ribbons. There's like two ribbons there. If I colored them both dark, you would, you know, I wanted it like that. So, and I wanted to keep it all the same color. So that's kind of what I found out. So if you have any questions, you can ask me, <clears throat> but I don't know that I'll be able to answer fully because this is all I've really done with them. Okay, so let me look at chat. Do you need to go sit in the healing corner too, Aaron? <laughs> oh my gosh. Okay, I drew butterflies with the polychromos. <clears throat> and even there I had to sharpen them a lot to get the details. Okay, well I don't ha you don't have to sharpen them as much as the Prisma. You still have to sharpen them. I mean, I did have to sharpen them to get in the detail. Don't don't get me wrong. But when it's sharp, it's crisp. It's nice and crisp. Because, like I said, the um, prismas are so soft, it just takes a couple of, you know, just a little area and the point's gone. Okay, well, we don't have to, you know... You, just be be reasonable in the in the conversation guys we don't mind if y'all talk about your problems just don't get carried away <laughs> don't run people off that's what I, there's my there's my policy okay so i did kind of mess up a little bit right there okay they do erase well uh when i've got a little bit of mark somewhere um i i was able to erase it now again you can't go in here and get erase like you know get it back to white paper there's no doing that with any color pencil so <clears throat> i hope they'll stay safe Aaron. no i know you're not saying anything mean i didn't say you said anything mean <laughs> So, okay, so now what I want to do is just kind of shade on the cape. It's not a hoodie, it's a cape. Okay, so like I'm just going to use the same color here just to put some, sh let me see, let me go ahead and zoom in a little here. Okay. And I just want the shadow of the folds to be this same purple. And I'm a very soft touch. Again, you know, you got to keep, keep that in mind. So I am anxious to try my own art and like faces and stuff with them. I've been, you know, trying to, with all my pencils, to work with doing faces because to me you know if i'm using them in my portraits that's got to be my main thing thanks kimberly so i'm just going to put a few i might put a couple extra just like folds in it
and just a little bit of shading. I think y'all can see it. See, I'm doing it lighter here, darker back here behind the fold. So it'll be darker back on this side. So they, they're they like when I'm doing this, it's very, very easy. Very easy to keep a consistent flat uh, shade. Okay. It's very easy to, um, what do you want? What do I want to call that? a layer you know um, when you want to feather it it's very easy to feather a color they feather awesome if that's the right word I want to use you know going from darker you know layering it up and feathering it out to a lighter it's very easy to do this So the benefits of a harder pencil, you can tell. You can tell the things that are the benefit. Uh, like I said, the only thing that I would have, and it's not a negative thing, it's just how I'm using them, I think, is, is the blending on top of multiple layers. With Prismacolors, you can do it really easy. You can blend on top, as long as you don't have it all waxed, build up, right, on a Prisma, when it's waxy and built up, then you can't blend anymore. You can always continue to layer, well, I say always, you can do a lot of uh, areas, I mean layers, but um, once the wax build up is there with the Prisma, you can't really do any more blending, okay? And like I said, there was just that, of all the colors that I used, that cream color, for whatever reason, that cream color didn't want to blend. I don't know, Pacola, I can't, I, I mean, not probably not a, my first practice one. Probably not the first practice one. And, you know, there's so many other projects everybody wants to see. Uh, doing portraits is usually, I don't want to say it's a snooze for most people, but most people don't want to see, and I don't, I mean, because I can do my portraits, you know, they take hours and hours, hours and hours, and most people don't want to sit for hours and hours, and I don't do speeded up edited videos, so, because for a couple reasons, one being is I like people to see how long things take, if on speeded up, and there's nothing, I'm not dissing on speeded up videos, I just wish that those that did speeded up videos would say how long the project actually took, um, but they take hours and hours. Most people don't want to do it. Well, don't want to sit through that. So I, I do a few here and there, but not very often. So I can do samples of when I do faces, but I, I probably won't do a whole face here on, sh on the show. Uh, I can't tell yet, Connie, and like, and that's why I said I'm right now. I'm just comparing them only to my Prisma color because that's my the one I'm I'm most familiar with. So I'm I'm comparing my waxy soft Prismas to an oil-based. I think that's right, oil-based harder Polychromos. Okay. So you can see how easily that shades down, feathers down. It's easy to get a smooth, it's easy to get a smooth fade, if you will. From dark to light, it's very easy to do that. But that's not all you do with them, right? you got to be able to blend and layer. So the layering so far to me has been great the blend I'm just not used to yet the blend's been a little trickier because they're harder pencils thank you Leah so there's a like a, a, a wrinkle or a fold right there on the cape Terry <laughs> Okay, so did that make sense? Did that make sense on what I just said about the 
the blending, I mean the uh, blending, the feathering and all that. I'll let somebody answer that question. And every pencil just feels different, you know. You have to get used to the feel of it. But I do like the feathering aspect of these harder pencils. They feather great. And and by feathering, I mean, let's see. Let me get a piece of here. So feather, and of course, you don't want to start heavy. You want to take your time and build up your layers, right? So you build up your layer like this, nice and gently. This is what I mean by the feathering. The the getting from darker to light. I know it's because of the white paper. It's a little flashed out. But going from the darker to the lighter like this. Th this is what I'm calling feathering. This is really easy to do with these. They're the polychromos kangaroo. Hey Care Bear. Thank you. Thanks for being here. <laughs> yeah, Dot. It's got to look like, I'm not enjoying this Halloween dress-up stuff, right? Okay, so anyway, that is one of the, the what I see as, if you want to call it a pro. It's not really any con, except for the one issue I had with that one color. And again, I know it's because I'm not used to, you know, used to them yet. But can you see the how fe nice and feathery? And smooth that is. And you just got a layer. It's like all pencils. It's in the layer. So I'm going to have to practice more on the blending. You know, taking multiple colors and making them blend with a harder pencil. I'm waiting for any, any more questions. And, you know, I kind of do a cross hatching here to make it, you know, as smooth as I can. But it, it, it really does feather nicely. And I am used to taking my time with, blend, uh, with um, piling up the pigment, if you will. <laughs> so, you know, you do have to have some patience with pencils. If you want to, you know, get the most use out of them. And that's true with any of the brands. You have to be patient. You can't just go in there and dig in. Now, this I did just do a solid, you know. This is just solid dark purple in here. <clears throat> and that's, you know, for the filigree there. Yeah, I'm talking about multiple layers of of the color the blend uh, on top of each other like not all right let me kind of try to specify this i'm not it's not the problem of of getting them to blend okay it's not the problem of getting them to blend it's having the pencil actually do blend like, I'll go back to my example here on the pump. Uh, let's see, which one? This one, I think it was. Okay, this one. After I did the not, the cream color, which I started like this one. After I did the cream color, and then the uh, yellow ochre color, and some of the darker brown, and I, did, I was soft with it, you know, because they're hard pencils. you got to be soft with them. After I did that, I took my cream color again, to, to blend everything together and it didn't it didn't want to blend easily it didn't want to do it the pencil was hard it didn't want to blend those other three colors together it's not that's not the flicking of it it's the actual pencil did not the pigment there we go the pigment of the cream color 
did not want to blend my other two yellows. And I'm thinking it might just be that one color was harder than others. You know, it was just a harder pencil than some of the others, like the purple, the orange, one of the greens, the dark green were f pretty creamy. But that, that cream color did not want to blend my other two yellows. The pigment didn't want to do it. So I'm not talking about the technique so much. So I'm just thinking that certain pencils, you're going to have to, and that's, there again, it's the years of use. You know, when you've had years of use of one brand, and you could probably tell every single pencil what it'll do. You know? Every pencil you say, okay, I know this one's, uh, you know, how, how dark and rich this one color is compared to another. Because you've used them for decades. Not just years, decades. You know, I'm going from decades of Prisma to one page here. <laughs> right? So, yeah. You know what I'm saying, Janet? Okay, thank you. Try the gold and copper. Okay, I'll do that. The gold, copper, and silver. I'll try that on maybe black paper. Have you tried yours, Eileen? Your your metallics? Eileen and Janet both got them, recently got polychromos, and they want me to, well, Eileen wants me to test out the uh, metallics. So I'm just getting it darker and darker and darker slowly on that, on the seam there, or the uh, fold. you got to take your time with pencils. <clears throat> if you want to layer and build up, you can't just go in there and, I mean, you could do this. This is just one hard layer. All that is one hard layer if you just want it to look like that. But most people that are wanting to do pencils want much more out of them. And so you have to have patience with them. And so that's why I'm qualifying this little demo with I have, I'm not used to these yet. So I'm, you know, if you want an expert opinion on them, there's others that out there just YouTube Go on YouTube and find your favorite pencil artist that uses them, and they'll give you plenty of information on it. Okay? A little shadow, a little darker under there. All right, let's see what else we got. Okay, so I'm a John... I don't know how to pronounce um, Amanda. Oh, it's, I think it's Amanda. Amanda Ja. Amanda. Amanda said that she blends Prisma on top of polys. So the wax pencils on top of the polys works is what she's saying. I haven't had time to do that. I mean, I've done a couple little, you know, examples through the years, but you know, just doing a couple examples doesn't tell you all the what you can really do with them. So I just wanted to show them to you. So thank you, Melody, for gifting me them. Oh, the other thing Hubster said, Hubster, because Hubster was going to buy them for me for Christmas. And uh, remember, I remember I t showed you last week, he bought me these, this little roll from a flyer. <laughs> this little, like, that's not the one. He bought me a, a roll of these, um, uh, no name brand. There's no. There's not even a name on these, right? There's not even a name on these brands. He bought me, and the the the. What I like about the case, though, is the case protects the leads down in there like that. Anyway, he got this off of a flyer. He got in the mail. <laughs> he got a flyer in the mail. What's selling these? And he he ordered them for me. And so anyway, he said, "Are Melody's pencils better than mine?" <laughs> the polychromos are they better than mine and I went well oh, um well honey um um he goes I'm just kidding I know <laughs> 
And then the other thing, because he was going to get them for me for Christmas, he goes, so does that mean I don't have to get you a Christmas present? I went, uh, no. It means you don't have to buy me pencils for Christmas. <laughs> anyway, I thought it was funny. So thanks again, Melody. <laughs> So I'm going to finish this. Did I, was there some, uh, what other brand do you, what other brand do you need? To, oh, I don't know. I'm, I'm sure there's, if y'all want to see a lot of um, budget friendly, as Ann calls it, Ann Sigurds, A Colorful Life, she has all kinds of budget friendly pencil uh, reviews. And, um, I mean, just, just put in pencils, you know, color pencils in YouTube search. Trust me, you'll get thousands. Are you going to try the new Derwent? Uh, probably not. I, I'm probably not going to do the Pro Color pencils. And, and that's just because of what I've seen other people say. I mean, I hate to judge it on other people's reviews, but, yeah. Polychromos have got tons of, you know, y'all, half of y'all have them. Great reviews. And they're just a harder pencil. And I'm just not used to it. You know, I'm used to the soft pencils after decades. I'm, I mean, I'm talking like probably 30 years. <laughs> I don't know. When I first started, I think I was a teenager. No, well, it'd have to be longer than that. Because I think I was a teenager when I first used my first barrel, barrel Prismacolor. How long ago is that, Janet? How long have we been using them? Janet and I are pretty much the same age, so that's why I'm asking Janet. <laughs> Not just an honor. <laughs> um, yeah, Connie, you have plenty of pencils? Yeah. So anyway, so I think that may be good right there. I, I didn't want to do the whole, you know, I just wanted to do a little bit of shading on the cape. Terry. <laughs> it's not a hoodie, it's a cape. Just so, you know, I wanted it all in just the purple. Just like that. So I'm not even going to try to, you know, feather out or blend anything else. I just wanted it kind of, that's, this was my plan. <laughs> 40 years, Janet, yeah. Uh, so let me see if I can get a little bit of the, tilt it a little so you can see a little more of the color because the sun's coming through the window. And I'll post a picture on Twitter. So, again, see, look how, can you see how that's a little, this one's just a little different and a little messier than, I can't get anything else blended on that, this one, with the cream color. So, I was trying to put it in shadow, so I added extra layers of the orangey colors before I added, this one doesn't have all those orange layers um, that this one had. And then I tried to blend it with the cream color. I don't know what it is. Maybe it's just that cream color. Janet and Eileen, check your cream color ones. All right, so now Eileen wants me to, let me show you all the pencils again. Let me pull the, all right, I got to back out again. I'll show you all the pencils if you're just coming in. So here's the box. Got it off of Amazon. Well, Melody bought it for me off of Amazon. And then here's the little brochure. And I'll show you all the layers again. They have the little, little, um, let me see here, little elastics on the side. And like I said, the bottoms have a felted bottom so that it doesn't scratch or do any damage to the layer underneath. So, and there's my purple. I have that one out. So there's this, these colors. Or hard matte. Yes, I know Squaw Moon. Yeah, I remember those. The Yeah, Squaw Moon Tracy said the first and only color pencils that she ever knew about were those hard map colors in school. And I probably had used those too. But when I found, and I don't even remember. I have no idea how I found Barrel Prisma colors. No idea how I got my first set of those. 
And I think Mom still has a picture framed. Well, she did for a while. I don't know if she still has it hanging up. Has a picture, framed picture of some rabbits dancing in like little mushrooms and forest that I did back then. I'll have to ask her if she still has that. Maybe I can get it from her. So, here's the second tier. And then here's the third tier. Again, they all have the little elastic. There, you can see it there. To pick them up out of the tray. So, there's the third layer. Okay, so let me get out the silver, gold, and copper. These three here. Move this to the side. And I think I'll try it on black paper. So, again, this is, co is colored out of the Rhapsody in the Forest. I think this is the first one of the two. Y'all have seen me color in the other one a lot. I've actually done three or four, or maybe even five in, in, this, in the other one. And somebody said this was the first one, Rhapsody in Forest. And so I did this one for the October. Okay, so let's do a little test real quick on some, let me get a piece of black cardstock. Do I have one over here? I think I do. Uh. Well, I guess I could just do it on my desk, right? But <laughs> All right, so let's do a little test with the metallics. That was the first one, Kenny. Okay, thank you. I couldn't remember. Okay, so I'm going to I'm going to put hard pressure to get the pigment down. And I'm going to Oh, I really like them. I'm saying so far. Let's just keep feathering. They feather awesome. The polychromos feather awesome. And as I do more tests with them and stuff, you know, I'll keep you all abreast of the situation. <laughs> uh, okay, you're welcome, Scoobs. You're welcome. <laughs> Okay, so I'm just going to keep feathering till they're very easy to feather. I mean, can y'all see how I'm, it's so easy? I mean, I know it's hard to feel them. They feel nice and smooth. This one does anyway. Feels very smooth. And so you can see how I'm feathering it out on the black. See how smooth that looks? And then there's the shine. Can y'all see? I'm really like. Do you like the metallics, Eileen? Okay. Now let's do gold and silver. And it, it feels the same as the copper as far as feel goes I'm trying to get it as dark as I can at the beginning there and then just keep feathering it and this and, and it's it's I'm doing different pressures it's harder pressure up here, even though I don't want to do a full-on hard pressure. I'm trying to, like, build it up, right? Now, a test for me, another test that I want to test on here when I get done with these metallics is the white. Because for me, the Prismacolor white <laughs> is the best, softest white, best white, okay? Not going to diss on these. I'm just saying I don't know. I haven't I haven't done this white test here. Well, I probably did back when we did a di demo. Did I use the poly white back when we did that demo? A couple, was it a couple years ago? I don't know how long ago it was. I have to get used to these, right? Um... Yeah, yeah, metallics always look good on black. There you go. So there's the copper and the gold.
No, oh, you got good ones and you got ones. You didn't have, what's wrong with yours, Eileen? You didn't get pigment in them. What do you mean you didn't get pigment? Suzanne says she likes the Prisma white better. I don't know what your, I didn't see what happened with your issue with the, uh, metallics, Eileen. I, I didn't, I didn't ever see you talk about it, so I must have missed that. And just feather it out. They really feather nice. Can y'all see that? Oh, okay. So you didn't like them on white paper. Okay. Well, they probably wouldn't show up that much on white, would they? They might be better to put a shimmer or a, gl a glint of shine on top of another color. We'll test that out, too. Hang on. Let me feather this out just a little more. So there's the three. Okay, try them on white paper, okay? <clears throat> Need to keep something here though, it's gonna flash out my camera. There we go. Okay, keep my hand here. Alright. Alright, so let's start let's start with the copper. Well, you're obviously not going to, I mean, they feel the same. It feels the same, but obviously you're not going to see the shimmer as much on white. Right? But I want to test them over the top of something. Capture it won't, doesn't want to capture the light because the white paper there. Can you see it a little bit? Let me maybe if I put it half on the black paper because it wants to flash out. The white wants to flash my camera out. Uh, I'm trying, guys. It's shiny, but I can't. There, I can't get the camera to pick it up. Okay. Yeah, I got Lumi's too, Kitty. I, I actually like the Prismacolor white better. I think the white Prismacolor to me. I'm just used to it though, guys. Okay, so now let me get the white. Hang on. I'm going to do it on the black paper. I think so much of it has to do with what you get used to. Okay, so it's it's smooth as can be. I think we did this before. I think we did the white before on black paper with my samples that we did. But here's the thing. I th if I'm not mistaken, this is nice and smooth as far as feathering out. I'll be able to get a nice feather. But I don't think this is as vibrant of a white as a Prismacolor. I'll, I'll do a Prisma next to it to see, okay? All right, so that's right there's the, the darkest I can get the white right there, okay? But it feathers awesome. There's something under, oh, there's glitter on the back. It's picking up a stripe of glitter. <laughs> I was going to say, there's a line there. What's that line? It's because there's some glitter on the back. So let me just keep going here. I want to get it. I'm 
feather here. Can y'all see that pretty well? And I could just keep going and going and getting it nice and blendy. But you can see how nice it feathers. Okay, now let me get a Prismacolor just to compare. I could probably find one bigger than that. <laughs> oh my gosh. Oh, here's, here's, one in a, here's one in a pencil holder. <laughs> Let me sharpen. <laughs> I have other white, uh, other um, Prismacolor whites. It's just that they're <laughs> They're around here somewhere. All right, let me sharpen. Okay. <laughs> now, let's compare the two whites. I'll start on, let's do it this way. And I'll go the, you know, I'll, away from it. <laughs> okay. All right, so here we go. Here's the white Prismacolor. See, it's, it's wanting to, you know, it has a little bit of crumble, whereas the polychromos has no crumble. No crumble on the polychromos. And it's feathered, but because the pencil is softer, it's picking up more of the texture of the paper. Okay? So I'll, I'll hold it up close for y'all in just a second. Let me try to get it as smooth as I can, like I did the other one. Okay, <clears throat> and just ignore those two little lines there. That's from the back side. So you see how this is nice and smooth, right? Feathering is very, very smooth. Very smooth. See how this picks up the texture of the paper? The, the Prisma picks up the... There's not a lot of texture to this. This is a very smooth paper, cardstock. But it... You can see it picks up, and again, that right there is probably just something I picked up off my table here. <laughs> um, but you see the the feathering? See how the feathering's not quite as smooth as that? It's because it's let, this is harder. So the little lines that I'm making are closer together. Does that make sense? When I'm going like this, Every line that I make with the harder pencil, it's closer together. And the softer pencil, the lines that I'm doing are further apart. So the feathering, now I can get it that smooth with this. But just in an initial run like this, you can see that the feathering is not quite as feathered. <laughs> But look, this is just a bit brighter. The white in the prism is just a little brighter. But you know what? Here's the thing, guys. Unless you using them, I don't want to say professionally, but kinda. A lot of these things, you're not. It's not. It's not going to matter. Okay. And if you're using it for a color book in little tiny blended areas, it's probably you're not even probably going to notice. Okay. 